helping us out. I'm going to give you guys a short run through of the system and of course we can always schedule a more detailed demonstration. If you're clocking in through Microsoft Teams, which most people are today considering the corona times and people are working remotely, you should know that you have an app right here that you can just clock in and clock out from while you're working on chat or looking at your calendar. You can punch in um, into the system. You can start working on a task if you um, are using the projects and tasks feature. You'll be able to see who's working and um, who's not working, as well as check your own personal timesheets. Now, going to the system itself, if you guys are using Microsoft 365, you'll be able to clock in with your 365 account. Okay. Now, once you've clocked into the system, it'll bring you directly to the dashboard, which is the gateway. And everything here is pretty simple. You'll see that we do come in 12 different languages. We work in 17 different countries. You can clock in one of seven ways. One would be uh, Microsoft Teams, which I just showed you. The next one would be um, the Chrome extension right here, as well as the portal. You can download the app to your cell phone, as well as you can clock in from either a time clock or a door entry control, which are pieces of hardware that you would do in the actual um, door or wall. Okay. However you guys touch, clock in or clock out, it will be visible to managers here in the system, whether it be the IP address of a computer or an address that you've clocked in from. You'll see the actual address if you're using your phone. And if you're do using a door access control or a clock, you'll see which one a, a employee logged in from. In terms of the system, again, you can clock in and clock out from start and stop from any tasks that you guys want to work on. So that way it'll be recorded in the system right there. Um, employees can request time off when they do. They can either upload files if it's a medical um, request and they can also see their available balances. When you upload users into the system, which is particularly easy, all you're going to do if you want to use your Microsoft 365 account is use your Microsoft 365 email over there. Um, basically, you're going to put all your workers onto a contract. In that contract, you will be stating their hours. You're going to set up reminders for them. And if they're logging in to um, a through a cell phone, you'll be able to decide if you allow them to punch in from any location or if you want them to look, lock, clock in from a location that's already predetermined. It's a way for you to sort of know what's going on with your workers when they're working remotely. We do have a live map if you've got field workers or salespeople out on the road, delivery people. So you would be, be able to see your um, delivery people or, or workers in relation to different customers that they're, that they're on their way to. You can set up alerts so that you would be able to know um, if someone forgot to clock in or forgot to clock out as well as when a um, delivery person, or again, someone using the GPS, arrived at a customer or left a customer. We do have a portion of the system that's set up for expenses. So if you allow your workers to claim expenses like gas or food or, or um, office supplies, basically they would fill it all in, upload their um, invoice that they paid, press save, and it would go directly for approvals from a supervisor. We have projects and tasks, which means that you can create a project connecting it to either a customer or a file in your system. Over here, you can connect it. Once you've created a, a project, you would be able to create many tasks under that project that you could assign to different workers. You would connect it to a project you've already created, and then you would either hand it off to a group to do or to an individual. You could specify different things, like the time you want someone to work on it, and then you would send that person notification that they have a job to do. Once they've done that, you've done that on their dashboard, that new task will show up for them to start to work on it. The other thing that we have in the system is um, a detailed attendance report, which basically means that at the end of every month or whenever you decide, a worker is going to receive a um, report of their hours, a balance of their information for their approval. Once that's been approved, a supervisor gets to approve it, and then it would be able to be auto-synced with pretty much any payroll program. Those are the main portions of our system. Obviously, we do have more details and everything does have a little bit more depth to it and we do customize. But that's to give you a little bit of an overview of what we can do. Please have a look at the system. Any questions, let me know. You also can contact me um, at laura at timeclock365.com. You can also contact us at support at timeclock365.com. We are here to help you and, of course, schedule a um, more detailed demonstration when you're ready. Thank you very, very much.